Today we're going to be talking about how to assemble the HST series heat detector tester properly. First thing I want to start talking about today is the battery. The battery for the HST goes inside of a battery holster, which is a nice heavy duty cloth bag that the detector just slides into. We've got two buckle straps that clamp down in the front, hold the battery in very sturdy. Then on the back side of the holster there are loops which these rubber straps go through. You want to thread it through both loops so that the button so that the button is aiming towards the front of the holster. Then you simply pull in between the loops, pull a loop, another loop out on the rubber strap. So it should look like like this. Then you're going to have your inspection pole, which you're going to be using to do your, to test your detectors up at height. And you slide that through the first rubber strap, the loop in the first rubber strap, then the loop in the second rubber strap. It's a little awkward getting on. You slide down anywhere from a foot to a foot and a half, I suppose. Then you can pull the rubber straps. Till they're clamped down. Okay, now the battery is firmly attached to the pole. Then the HST series heat detector tester test head slides onto the pole. Make sure that it clicks, the button clicks in place and that it's not moving. Take the power cable for the HST head plug it into the battery. Now you're put together and you can also add longer poles to reach up at the detectors that are up higher. I'll show you around the HST series heat detector tester while we're here. The end that the test chamber is on is beveled. It's like a funnel shape here so that when you place this up to, to the detector you just have to get it anywhere on this area and the funnel will just guide it right in and you'll be able to do your test. On the control panel end, we have the power cable. The this silver colored button is the power switch. In the middle here, this switch here, this rotary switch, is your temperature selector switch. The green part here is a bright LED, very easy to see, even even when it's up uh, up high, it's very easy to see the. LED light blink. This will indicate temperature or test progress. This last connection here is for connecting a cable which can then be connected to a digital multimeter which, will, which you will then place on, on the voltage setting and you'll be able to read the temperature of the test chamber on the multimeter. Thank you for watching this video on the assembly of the HST series heat detector tester. For more information, please visit us on the web at SkinnerInnovations.com. Thank you.